Hello, I am That Lost Gamer, and today I am playing a level called 20, in, created by Danico. So let's check it out. Right off the bat, I see some new attack designs that I really enjoy. I, I like how it comes down and I'm easy, easily able to move out of the way. Attacks are nice and predictable. It feels like any mistakes with me getting hit are solely my fault. And what an adorable boss. Oh, too cute. Too cute. Attacks are a manageable speed. They're frantic enough that they're all over the place. I enjoy it. Ooh, okay, okay. I'm just not observant enough to get out of the way in time. It's slowly pulling me down to the white death abyss. Okay. Very manageable. I don't know where the... Oh, jeez. Where am I? Okay, here I am. About halfway through. Okay. Enemy is sleeping. Still very adorable boss. Okay, attacks are similar to before, but different enough to keep it interesting. And also, if this was one of the other more difficult levels that I played in the past, the controls would be spinning around as well, which I'm kind of appreciating that it's not spinning the controls. I actually know what directions to push. I actually think this level is pretty relaxing. It's a nice change. Very nice. Not sure what to commentate about here because it's pretty much all the same. Very nice. Now in the comments, I did notice that it said that th this is his comeback level. He hasn't made a level in like six months. So as I play these, I kind of find that my scoring system is completely irrelevant. So I'm going to have to change this to not really be a review, more just a personal opinion. I really, really enjoyed that level. It felt almost a little too easy, but it felt like a fantastic base to maybe doing a hard, harder version of the level. So I would give it a rocket ship out of five or a potato out of 40. Today I have an extra, extra special thank you to Insider6 for being a tier three Patreon. Thank you very much. And I look forward to seeing what you would like me to make a video on next. Have a good day.